some student loan debt, uh, saving for medical bills. Saving money and budgeting does not have to be boring and anxiety triggering. So, I thought that I would try the 100 envelope challenge. And so, what that is, is you get yourself 100 envelopes, doesn't have to be nothing fancy, and all of the materials can be gotten from be can be uh, um, acquired. Ooh, can't talk. Can be acquired from the dollar store. You get yourself 100 envelopes. You are going to write on each envelope the numbers one through 100. 100 envelopes. Envelope one, envelope two, three, four, five, six, till you get to 100. You can decorate your envelopes. You can put stickers on them. You can color them. Do what you want. Make it fun. It's meant to be fun. Don't overthink this. It's, it's meant to be fun. You do it according to your budget, according to what you can afford. You can do it weekly. You can do it uh, day. You can do daily. You can do it weekly. Whatever. So get yourself 100 envelopes. Get yourself something to hold your 100 envelopes in. So it could be a wicker basket. It could be a bag. It could be a bucket. It could be a plastic bag. It could be anything to hold your 100 envelopes in. It could be a safe. Don't overthink it. But a shoebox works for now to house your 100 envelopes in. So you take your 100 envelopes. After you've labeled them, you shuffle them up. And you choose an, you choose an envelope. You can do it, like I said, you can do it daily. You can do an envelope a day. You can do an envelope every two weeks. You can do an envelope a month. Make it fun. Do it throughout the year. Um, but at the end of the challenge, you are supposed to have five thousand and fifty dollars saved if you've done if you've completed the challenge. Now, if it takes you longer than three hundred and sixty-five days, which is a year, that's okay. Like I said, it's meant to be fun. Choose an envelope. You shuffle them up. First of all, you shuffle them up and you choose one. It's meant to be a mystery. It's meant to be fun. You could have Siri choose a number between 1 and 100. Hey Siri, choose a number between 1 and 100. Or if you have an Android, hey Bixby, choose a number between 1 and 100. Or some kind of randomizing application to help you choose a number. Choose your number. Whatever number, whatever envelope you draw, the number on the envelope is what you're going to put into the envelope. For example, if you choose the envelope that has number five written on it, you're going to put five dollars in that envelope and seal it and put it away. And that's it. it. It's really simple, you guys. Don't overthink it. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't stress yourself out. Make it fun. You could even, if you have four members of your family, of your immediate family, so say if it's your husband and your two daughters, split it up. Give yourself one through fifty. Give your husband 50 through whatever. I don't know. Give give yourself 1 through 25. Give your husband 25 through 50. Give your daughter 25 through 75. And your next child, the, re the remainder of the envelope. So you can all split up the savings. And then once you save your amount, un un unseal the envelopes together and, and marvel at the amount you have saved. It's meant to be fun. Don't don't make this too difficult um, I like it because it allows me to save an amount of money I, I don't know about you but I don't have $5,050 just laying around so I think it's a fun little way to uh, save some money and, and you know I love a good challenge so that's what I'm doing uh, so in the next clip you're going to see I'm going to explain further in detail uh, visually how I've set up my my 100 envelope challenge i decorated my little box you can too get your little box from the dollar store put stickers on it you know make it fun i cannot stress that enough make it fun so hey watch this in the next clip how i set up mine and then after that i have included a compilation of how different folks are doing their 100 envelope challenge so take a look the 100 envelope challenge now you're you're going to see this all over if you google it uh, or go on Instagram or Facebook, you, you'll see it all over. Um, it could be a 100 envelope challenge, 52 week challenge, whatever.
but it doesn't have to be stressful uh, and boring. So everything here that you see, and you're just going to see my hands, everything here you see on this um, table, uh, unless otherwise mentioned, I got from the dollar store. If you go on Etsy, you can find the 100 envelope challenge tracker. You can find the 100 envelope boxes already pre-made for you, but I made my own because um, here again, we're trying to budget. Um, and I, I can understand why they cost as much as they do because making it was time consuming. Now, I bought the box, like I said, <clears throat> from the dollar store. And what it is, is a little index card box. It's clear, cost me $1. What I did, they have these little embellishment, they call them accolades, stickers. And I decorated my little box. Cause you know, I'm jazzing it up and I want it to be fun. So that's what I did for my box. But you can do whatever you want. You can do a shoe box, a wicker basket, a bucket, um, a bin, whatever you want to save your, your envelopes in or your money in. That's your business. It's meant to be fun. There's no ironclad way of doing this. No um, other like mandatory rules. Make it fun. Do, do what works for you and make it fun. So the envelopes I got from Walmart. And they are the invitation peel and stick envelopes. And what I did is I, I should have taken this out before I started. These are the envelopes, invitation envelopes. So you're gonna do a hundred envelopes, make a hundred envelopes. And I just folded it in half so that I can get two envelopes out of this one envelope. See what I mean? two envelopes out of that one envelope. So that's that. I'm gonna put this over here to the side while I'm talking. Or you can just use a regular envelope. This is a regular envelope. You can cut it into threes and tape, like on both of these, I taped. Regular envelope, tape it up and put that there. So here are my envelopes. Like I said, I took the peel and stick envelopes. I cut it in half so I can get two. And I made my envelopes. Now the whole premise of the 100 envelope challenge is this. What is the 100 envelope challenge? You take 100 envelopes. You number them from one to 100. And if you stick to saving all of these, at the end of the challenge, you'll have $5,050. You number each envelope and you can pull the envelopes in any way that, you, that works for you. Now, for example, me, I pull my envelopes every Sunday. I pull seven, now when I first got started, I pulled seven envelopes at a time. Whatever amount is on that envelope is what you're going to put in the envelope. So like this one is number 53. You would put $53 in that envelope and you would stick it in your box. But like I said, you don't have to pull seven envelopes. You can pull one envelope, you can pull two envelopes, whatever works for you. Um, in the beginning, I pulled seven envelopes, like I said, and and I was pulling the, I should have started with the higher numbers because when you get down to here, it gets a little bit tougher. I know it is for me, but whatever envelope I stuffed, I took my little tracker here and I colored it in. And this tracker you can find, um, if you'd like a copy of it, you can find it on our website at www.tillerosemedia.com. Um, I can also send it to you. Um, I have it electronic on my tablet as well. Let me get into my tablet. I should have done that before I started the video. 
I have it on my tablet. And when I color my envelopes in, when I pull my envelopes, I just color them in as such, just for the sake of demonstration. Color that in and I'll erase it. So if you have a, um, I started on January 2nd. And like I said, I started in the smaller numbers, but now I'm into the bigger numbers and it's tough. So don't do like me and pull um, the bigger numbers. It's supposed to be like a randomized thing. You shuffle them like cards and put them back in your box and pull the numbers that way. Or you can ask Siri to pick a number between 1 and 100. Or if you have an Android, ask Bixby, pick a number between 1 and 100 and um, choose the number that way. That's a fun little way to do it. Um, I find this way fun. I should have colored these in different colors because I can do different colors with my, my um, if you have an iPad or whatever tablet, you can color them in different colors. So there's that. But let me show you my box. Like I said, I started January 2nd, and by the time I'm done, I hope to have $5,050 saved. So here's my little box. I have my little box stuffed. And those of you saying, oh, I don't want money around the house, well, you can do it electronic. I have a safe that I put my stuff in. And then weekly, I go make my deposit. So there's um, there's no money sitting around. But yeah, I have my little envelopes in here. And you can decorate your little box and your little envelopes any way you want to. See, I had some, some glitter sticker. And I did it that way. You can decorate your envelopes. and Or you can write your numbers on on here I had some some numbers some stickers with numbers on them laying around the house I didn't buy these anywhere so I just use I repurposed those and put them on there but you can take a sharpie and put your numbers on there um, so yeah that's my little 100 envelope challenge and like I said I do it weekly I pull my seven envelopes. I usually pull my envelopes on Sunday. Sometimes I it doesn't work out that way. Or you can pull your envelopes every two weeks when you get paid and, and do it that way to make it easy. Or you can just do it electronic, transfer your money into an account, and that way you're not dealing with cash at all. So that's one way that my family and I stay on track. Um, I'll show you another way that I stay on that we stay on track. Um, and it we use little budget binders. So give me a minute. I'll get that and I'll be right back. Do you want to have $5,000 saved up? Well, I have the perfect challenge for you. It's a 100 envelope challenge. I want you to go to the dollar store or Walmart and I want you to find 100 envelopes. It's a dollar right here or the dollar store for the container. And I want you to name each envelope one through 100. That way you can shuffle them up, put them back in the box. And I want you to every single day pull out one random envelope. And in this envelope, I want you to put the amount of money into that envelope, whether it's every paycheck or every day, whatever you're comfortable with and by doing this you're gonna have so much fun and you can use this as an emergency fund or go on a vacation with your family hey tiktok i know y'all trying to save you a cute little coin so let me tell you about the 100 envelope challenge so you're gonna buy some envelopes number them one to 100 and then um you could do it day by day week by week but what you do is you select the envelope at random and whatever number is on that envelope you put the dollar amount inside of it and at the end of it, you'll save $5,050. So this is day one of me starting. So with this challenge, you have 100 envelopes. In this box, there is 100 envelopes. They are numbered 1 to 100. I don't have them in order right now, but if you see, this is 99. <laughs> this is number 1. 
And there's many different ways that you can do this challenge, so. The first way that I did it was I tried to stuff one envelope every day. That did not work out for me because it's really hard. Like, it gets expensive. So what I did was every paycheck, I would stuff at least seven to eight envelopes. And if you fill up all these envelopes, you will get a total of $5,050. If you are like me and most of the other world who don't have the money to stuff one envelope every single day, what people have been doing is spreading this challenge out for one whole year. Doing it with one whole year, you would stuff two envelopes every week if you get paid weekly, or you would stuff four envelopes every paycheck if you get paid every two weeks. So that way, all of these will be filled out and you will complete this challenge in one year. So how it works is if you pull an envelope and you get the number one, you stuff one dollar. Pull another envelope, you get 46, you stuff $46, and so on and so forth. So whatever envelope you pull, you can randomly select the envelope, or if you're doing a budget, you can choose a specific number. So if I know I can do $100 this paycheck and I need to do two envelopes, I'm going to pull 60. It's in here somewhere. <laughs> But but things aren't in order because I've been, you know, explaining a lot. But wherever 60 is, I will pull 60 and 40 and then I will stuff it. OK, so you can go based off of the amount or you could just randomly select if you are able to. Some people who are, you know, a little bit more financially stable can randomly select and pick two envelopes or four if you are doing it every two weeks. If you are getting paid monthly, you will have to stuff eight envelopes a month. Um to complete this in one year okay now i say do it however you want do it whatever works for you so um if you can complete this in 100 days fine go ahead and stuff one envelope a day you can randomly select one or you can just start at number one so day one you stuff a dollar day two you stuff two day three you stuff three day four you stuff four um but if you cannot just find different variations there's so many different variations you can even google how to do the hundred envelope box and different variations and they will give you instructions okay So I'm doing the envelope challenge and I'm pulling it three times a week. And these are my three envelopes for the week. Um, I pulled one day a week because it's easier for me to pull one day a week versus three times a week and go into the store on three different days. It's just easy to do it all in one day. So this week I saved a total of $150. I see a lot of people doing this challenge and some people get discouraged or confused trying to figure out how are they pulling envelopes every single day. I'm not pulling them every day. I'm doing what works for me, my budget, and my lifestyle. So if you want to do it, just do it how it works for you. Don't feel like you have to keep up with everyone else and how they're doing it. Make it work for your budget. So you see, you guys, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. In my next few videos, I am going to show you how I use trackers or challenges to um, create sinking fund bind sinking funds binders to save um also i forgot to mention for the 100 envelope challenge i have a copy of the actual tracker on my on my website www.tillerosemedia.com there's a there's a tracker on there because as you save you want to keep track of which envelopes you pull so um, for example I color mines in on a tracker and I have it electronically downloaded to my iPad uh, 
so if you have a tablet, I don't know if you have Good Notes or, 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 or whatever application you use, uh, you can also um, track it that way or just print out the tracker and do it that way and get yourself some colors, some highlighters, some markers, uh, make a pretty little chart that keeps track of your envelopes. Um, uh, like I said, on www.tillerosemedia.com, you can find, you can purchase the actual template uh, as well as other challenge trackers uh, that I will go into detail in other videos. So you guys have fun. Um, if you save five dollars more than you saved yesterday, you're doing good. So don't get down on yourself. You can do it. You got this. Um, save your money. Save what you can. Okay. All right. Love y'all. Take care.